This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Okay, so one, one for you. There you go. Take it. Ooh. Good boy. Finya. <laughs> okay, we got Finya. What's up? <laughs> oh, have the carrot. It's a carrot. Mmm, carrot. No. Thanks. You're welcome. What's going on YouTube? ADC Art Attack here, and welcome back to a brand new drawing video with me and my friend, who you probably can't see from down there. Say hi. Go say hi. And then I give you your carrot. And now you love me. No. <laughs> really? Well, welcome back to a brand new drawing video, and in today's video, I figured I'd do another chilled out video just just like we did last time with the redraw thing. So I've had a look through my old drawing folder and I don't have any more food. Did you forget it? Where is it? I know. <laughs> there it is. Yes. Ah. <laughs> ah. As you can tell, this is going to be a chilled out video. Okay, so right now, a lot of people are trapped in the house. A lot of people are self-isolating, aren't going outside. So hopefully content creators, myself included, can provide you with enough entertainment to keep you occupied. That's kind of the point of today's video. And with that being said, I'm going to set a challenge for you guys right now. Dig out one of your old drawings and redraw it. Do this challenge. Do what I'm doing today. Share it with me on Instagram or Twitter, whichever you prefer, or YouTube. Tag me in it, because you can do that now, I think. Can you tag people? I think so, right? Do you know? Sasuke's coming. It's like a madhouse. Hey, 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 hey. No. <gasps> Bunnies, yes. Look, I have nothing for you. Bye, Finya. Yeah, this is what she does. She goes all the way around. What was I supposed to be doing anyway? I've completely lost my train of thought. So what I'm going to do right now is just let the rest of this video play. Hopefully you do enjoy it. And I will look forward to seeing you again in the next one. They've gone crazy, right? I don't know what to do. I've got... <laughs> well, on that note, enjoy the video. Alrighty, so after having a little look through my drawing folder, I found this drawing of Sonic the Hedgehog, a split drawing, a really nice idea, and I think it would make for a really good video. This drawing is super old, dates back to 2005, once again, just like the previous redraw we did. It's a very delicate drawing, and I'm hoping that I can take good care of it while I do this process. That being said, I am a careless human being, and I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to damage this... But then again, it looks terrible anyway, so who cares? <laughs> now for today's video, unlike the previous one, I will not be using children's supplies or basic supplies in any way, shape or form. I'll be using my professional art supplies. Starting with this paper, which is just standard sketch paper, but I really like it. I, I work with it pretty much all the time. I'm very familiar with it and I really do enjoy using this. My Arteza pencil, which is my go-to pencils. Really do like the Arteza pencils. That being said, pencils are pencils at the end of the day, so I wouldn't read too much into that. The eraser, once again, featuring, here he is. Wait, when did I do that face? I don't remember doing that. And then finally, to color it, we're going to be using the Pro and Brush Markers. Now, this is just an example pack right here. I'm not going to pull my entire supply out on camera because that would be very naughty of me. <laughs> but I really do like these alcohol markers. But any old alcohol marker should do the task today. Let's do it. Alrighty, so here we go. Before we actually get started with the drawing, let me just say I'm going to keep both of these in frame the entire time, just as I did with the previous redraw, because I figure it looks nice. It's nice to have them both there. And, you know, for you guys and for me, just kind of doing it. It's it's nice to just have it right there. It's just something you can kind of go, hey, I once drew that and now I'm drawing this. <laughs> so I'm not actually using a reference today. I'm pretty much just drawing what I drew there and I'm just bringing it into the, well, 21st century. This is a 15 year old drawing. It's super old and hopefully I don't ruin it any more than it already is. And as it's being a redraw, what I'm gonna do first is plan out the drawing. So I'm gonna do a rough sketch on this new sheet of paper, uh, a really rough sort of kind of planning out what it is that I'm doing. And basically I wanna keep all of the fundamental things about the left hand image on this new one. And this is a like super important phase of drawing that many people sleep on. They don't really focus on this part of the drawing. And when I was younger, I did it too. Like when I was younger, I totally just did everything in one take and if it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, I'd rip it up and I'd throw it away. Which begs the question, how did this drawing survive? Because it's clearly not that great. It sucks. I don't know, I guess maybe I had a plan. Maybe I knew I was going to redraw it in the future and that's why I kept it. Oh ho! <laughs> But plans are super good because I don't know if anyone else gets this. And I'm pretty sure everyone does get this, but you get to a point in your drawing, some drawings, where you kind of keep making mistakes over and over and over again. And you're grabbing the eraser and you're erasing it. 
if you don't plan as best as you can, it's a good rhyme. You're likely to fail later on. So definitely focus on planning and just kind of do it because you'll be surprised at how much it really does change the the work that you do later on. The point of the story anyway is uh, basically I erase now and it, it come out the way I wanted to. I mean, look at it. It's okay. <laughs> it's just not bad. We're making good progress. So I move on to inking and inking clearly, as you can see, used to be my strength. In inking was honestly the, the best part of my, <laughs> it looks so bad. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm super proud of my inking these days. I really did change the way that I ink and I no longer use just one variant of size. I like to change the sizes as I ink. And I think that inking is probably the most important part of any drawing process. If you ink, uh, I really do think it is just so super important and you really should focus on doing it and just take as much time as it needs to. I mean, inking is and always will be the longest or the lengthiest part of any drawing that I do because I really do like to focus on it and make sure that I get it the way I want it to. And I have my own particular style of line variations that I use, but basically they don't, <laughs> they don't make any sense. I just kind of do the line variations wherever I want. And, um, you know, it, it sometimes works. I just really like line variations. They sort of, they bring forth a lot of the sort of details and enhance the details a little bit more, especially in those shaded areas. And I just, I just like the way it looks. I like the effect it gives. I gotta say, look at it sort of side by side. I, I really like what I'm doing here. I mean, I've captured what I did in the original one fairly accurately, I think. Uh, we just upgraded it. I didn't notice that the, uh, the laces thing, the buckle on the inside of the shoe, I, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be on the outside of the shoe. I don't know why I did it on the inside, so. With the inking done, it's time to do the coloring. And the coloring is like gonna be the best part because I've clearly got a very strong reference here to use with the yellow and the blue. That's about it. No shadows. Huh, I was lazy. Not lazy anymore though. So I'm gonna do some shadows. I, I figured I'd start with the legs first and the sort of lower torso because that's kind of hidden and basic. So if I make any mistakes here, seeing as I'm practicing on the paper itself, this is it. why am I practicing on the paper itself? Why am I doing that? I should, I should really learn to practice on a separate sheet of paper. I never do it. I always practice straight on the paper. Yeah, that could probably help my artwork a little bit if I don't do that. Anyway, by the time I get on to doing the hair, I, I sort of feel a little bit more confident now and I, I think I can do what I'm doing. So I, I'm trying to kind of get a chrome style. That's kind of the thing I figured I would go for. So I'm going to do some chrome with some like really bright highlights, which will kind of amplify the shininess of supersonics. And that's, that's going to look good, I hope. It did. Ha! Huh. No, it, it looks great. Uh, okay, I really like the way this is going so far. So that's good. It is so cool to like look at these two side by side. This is what I love about doing this kind of series, this kind of episode. It's like you can look at these two and I can really see there's 15 years between the two of these, which is a long, long time. And it's just so... You know what I mean? It's just so nostalgic and just to think this is 15 years of work coming together and there's a lot of changes here because basically the drawings are basically the same. If you actually think about it, I've just sort of brought the details. I've basically done now what I tried to do back then. I haven't really changed anything. I've just upgraded it. So it's cool that I can do the thing that I had in my mind back then. I'm able to now put that onto paper. That's super cool. And it's kind of scary because it's I, this, I did this 15 years ago. I am getting old. Oh my God. Gosh. Uh, you know, eventually the worst part is going to be uh, when I make a video saying I did this one back in 2020, 10 years ago. Oh my goodness me. I'm going to have a midlife crisis in the middle of this video. While I colored in his hand, actually, because I, I butchered this hand. I really, I don't know what I was thinking when I colored in his hand. I, I think I was distracted. I actually put on some music here, which I shouldn't have done. I wanted to keep this all quiet. I wanted to just kind of chill out and do this one. But I put on some music. I was a bit distracted. And I kind of butchered the hand. But I do like the way the hand drawing looks, though. The hands look pretty cool. I do like that. I actually did the hands that I did in my previous drawing, because I'm lazy. And, um... <laughs> And then, yeah, there's a Supersonic, so that doesn't look too bad. Um, I like it, actually. And you're probably wondering why I haven't done the aura laziness, I guess. Now, honestly, I, I kind of like the way it looks, and I don't want to do the auras. I don't know. I, I'll see by the end of it if I do the auras, but I don't want to. I think if I do the aura, I'm going to ruin it. So I'm not going to do the aura just yet. I'm going to jump into doing the normal Sonic and then see what we could do. Now, this side of Sonic should be super easy. I'm actually not going to be... Basically, I'm not letting these two sides interact with each other. So I don't want Supersonic's light, the light effects, the shadow effects, to kind of imp impact this version of Sonic. So don't focus too much on that. The actual light source that I've got here is coming from above both of these characters. Sort of like in the front, above them. Um, that's where the light source is supposed to be coming from. But with Supersonic, he has his own aura glow to him. That's why the light is bouncing on the insides as well. Uh, on the outside, sorry. But again, I started with the legs and the lower torso area because I figured, once again, it's an easy area and something that I can hide any mistakes if I do make any. Um, regarding the blues that I chose today, again, all of that's going to be in the comment 
do, no, where's it going to be? It's going to be in the description down below. So anything that you want to see me or know that I'm using today, it's down there. So just have a little look around there. You might find something you like. I love coloring in his hair. I really am enjoying this. This is so much fun. I'm not taking this piece seriously at all. Like, I'm trying to make something that looks good, but at the same time, I just want to enjoy it. I'm, I love this. I love doing these videos, guys. You've been so nice and kind to me in my previous one. It's just, it's motivated me to just have a little bit more fun with my artwork these days. I'm tired of doing serious drawings every drawing and really exerting myself mentally and physically into a piece of artwork um, because that's not what I did back then. Looking at that original one, it's awful. <laughs> but that's, I had fun doing that. I know for a fact I love doing that. You know, I'm trying to capture that. I'm trying to capture my youth again because I'm getting old. <laughs> I just want to make it. I just want to enjoy life. And I really am. But at the same time, I'm quite sad because it's hitting me. It's hitting me quite hard. This is 15 years difference here. And, um, you know, I'm super proud of where I am. I'm super proud that I can be casual. I can enjoy what I'm doing. And it still comes out better than what I could have ever dreamed of back then. Man, I love doing artwork. I really do. And I just feel so happy these days that I'm now in a position and you're all so supportive of the position I'm in now like the things that I can do the fact that I can just I can do these sketches I can have some fun um you know I, I'm not trying not to do good pieces here I'm just not trying to do the absolute best piece because I just I just don't enjoy that you know I enjoy enjoying it <laughs> honestly everyone I thank you so much for all your support and you know, if you're ever, if you just want to do artwork, just do it. Don't feel any pressure doing it. Just do it because you want to do it and have fun doing it and keep it up. And there we have it. We're done. So, Sonic, nice. Really like it. I mean, the results of this, I'm so happy with it. I really, the highlight for me has got to be, no pun intended, but the Supersonic and especially the hair. I think it looks bright, vibrant, it's really nice. This is a very quick drawing, it wasn't anything crazy serious, so I'm very happy with the results here. I didn't spend too much time on this, I think this took me around two hours, an hour and a half to two hours. So it's a very quick project for me here and I just love it. I, I really do think it came out great. If we take a look at the original, I, we can just see the difference. <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, okay, so clearly the original is superior in every single way. The line work is obviously... <laughs> wow. Yeah, um, it's, it's quite the change actually. And these types of drawings are so fun to do. I mean, what is there? There's a 15 year gap between these two drawings. That is a long time. I couldn't have asked for more. I, I really can't. I hope that everyone out there enjoyed today's video. And if you are an artist, if you're just starting out, if you're an experienced artist, doesn't matter what you are, just have fun with it. Enjoy what you're doing. And please, have yourself a lovely day. I've been ADC Art Attack. This is my 2005 to 2020 Sonic the Hedgehog redraw. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Before we end today's video, I'd like to give a special shout out and a thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So you've just started a business or perhaps you already have one. Maybe you've got some work you're looking to share. Maybe you've got some stuff you want to show people, but you don't know where. Well, Squarespace is a platform that supports the way you do business. You can sell your art directly or bill for design services. You can create custom portfolios or galleries to display and showcase your work. If you're not quite sure how to create your own gallery, don't worry, there are plenty of templates on Squarespace for you to choose from. And one of the best things about Squarespace is if you have any problems day or night, they have a 24 hour, seven days a week support team. All of their customer care team members are in their own offices and they'll typically respond to you within an hour. So again, let me just say any problems you have, don't worry, there's someone there to help you. Why not head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash ADC art to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Alternatively, you can use the code ADC art. All of this information can be found in the description down below. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.